Sports Court is in session. Sports Court, sponsored by Ferris State University. I hope you enjoyed the Super Bowl because Matthew Stafford did. That's who we're talking about this week. Does Matthew Stafford deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? Absolutely. As Mike Lissette would say, make no mistake, Matthew Stafford's going to be one of the best quarterbacks to ever play the game. It's not about Pro Bowls. It's not about all pro honors. He's already got one Super Bowl ring. He could get more. Look at how he plays the game. That's how you want your quarterback to play. Matthew Stafford, when it's all said and done, will be one of the best quarterbacks of his era. Well, Jamal, make no mistake, you have it wrong. And I'll tell you why. If you have to debate whether Matthew Stafford is a Hall of Famer, he's not a Hall of Famer. Deion Sanders said it best. He's got to be that guy. And Matthew Stafford is not that guy. You say he's not that guy and that if you got to debate, then it's not worth it. Well, there are a lot of guys in the Hall of Fame that we debate whether or not they should be there. That doesn't really diminish their brilliance, does it? They take four to eight guys every year in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. If guys are going in there for the 10th time on, on whether or not they should be inducted, they're not a Hall of Famer. If they were more selective, do you think Matthew Stafford's a Hall of Famer? If they were more selective? Of course, the best quarterbacks of Matthew Stafford's era, Aaron Rodgers, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Drew Brees, those guys are all going into the Hall of Fame. Matthew Stafford's not as good as them, but he's in that very next tier of elite guys who just so happen to be playing in the era with those other four guys. Matthew Stafford all time is 11th in completions. He might move into the top 10 next year. The guy he's behind, Aaron Rodgers. He's 12th all time in touchdowns. He'll move into the top 10 in two years. He's 12th all time in yards. He's gonna pass John Elway next year. Matthew Stafford's knocking on the door of some very, very impressive people. And if you want to throw all pros in my face and say he doesn't have enough Pro Bowls or all pros, you got it wrong. The one time Stafford went to the Pro Bowl, it's because the Lions won 11 games. When his team stunk, he was still brilliant, but nobody was paying attention to the Lions. You put him in LA, he wins the Super Bowl in year one. The dude's one of the best quarterbacks we got. He'll belong in the Hall of Fame. No, no, and no. You look at Stafford in the prime of his career, he never was close to the top quarterback in the league. Reggie Miller's in the Hall of Fame. Chris Webber's in the Hall of Fame. They don't deserve to be there. They're great players, and in the case of Reggie Miller, he's had moments. Matthew Stafford has his moment this year. But that doesn't mean he's a Hall of Famer. As Deion Sanders says, he's not that guy. So tell us how we got it wrong. Head to the 13 on your side Facebook page or text court to 616-559-1310 and comment. Next week, we'll highlight our favorites. Last week, we talked greatest Super Bowl ad of all time. And the clear front runner from commentators was the Budweiser 9-11 tribute from 2002. That was a good Solid choice. And the next highest vote was the Budweiser Frogs. I'm noticing a theme here, Mike. Budweiser, Budweiser, Budweiser. We have links to those commercials in the comments. And you can head to the 13 on your side YouTube page and search Sports Court for all our past arguments. For now, Sports Court is adjourned.